On most fine dining tables, you're likely to find a large white ceramic disc. It's called a plate. But what exactly is a plate? And how do we use them? Today we scratch the surface of our precious porcelain pals. If food is an art, and the chef an artist, then the plate must surely be the canvas. However, there are a plethora of protocols surrounding this titan of the table. In fine restaurants, it is considered the height of rudeness to touch, turn or rotate your plate. Your chef has put great thought into exactly how your meal should be presented. Turning your plate is considered an insult to the artist. A second consideration is your plate may be served hot. Hot plates are hot because they are often delivered straight from the oven and can reach the table at temperatures well in excess of 60 degrees. A hot plate is plagued with peril and not for the faint of skin. A steaming stroganoff may be enough to sear, scorch or schmelt sensitive skin. But who created porcelain plates? In the 4th century, the Chinese developed the world's ultimate porcelain, thanks to their very fine clay. These plates became the envy of the world due to their fine translucency. The English tried to match the Chinese by adding animal bones to their rough clay, hence the inferior variety of ceramic today known as bone china. You might be excited and perhaps very hungry by the time your meal arrives. This critical moment is a trap. It leads to the most common faux pas for the first time fine diner. Never start eating before everyone at the table has been served. Plates come in many shapes and sizes. Firstly, the runt of the litter, the bread plate at a mere six inches. The slimmer's secret, salad or side plate, at an economical 8 inches. The main act, the dinner plate, at a robust 12 inches. And for special occasions, the charger, an incredible 13 to 14 inches. Never scrape cutlery across your plate, it produces a horrifying sound. This can provoke extreme reactions from others at your table. When you have finished your meal, indicate your knife and fork placed thusly. The other way of communicating that you have finished your meal is by eating all of it, which is considered a compliment to the chef. So there you have it, plates. Use them correctly and you will be sure to clean up.